to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. The former Democratic State Senator Lena Taylor sworn in this past week as a Milwaukee County Circuit Court judge. Governor Tony Evers appointed Taylor to the spot. She resigned her seat in the Senate. The governor's office says a special election will be called sometime this spring to fill her seat. And before her swearing in, Taylor sat down with Jaron this past week, reflecting on her two decades in the legislature and looking ahead to the court. Uh, what are you most excited for and what are you most looking forward to as you take on this new role? I'm looking uh, forward to being able to, you know, really uh, give people a face um, in a courtroom and uh, where they can feel comfortable. I'm looking forward to being able to, you know, show that uh, judges can be present in the community. Uh, what do you think is the biggest issue facing the county court right now? The fact that they are swamped. Um, not only have they not had uh, this position filled, but they ha have a need, very candidly, for more cases to be able to go through the system. Um, they are years, you know, in backlog. And so that is a very challenging uh, issue. How do you plan to help address that? Once you Hopefully that my court will not be one that's not keeping up, you know, with the pace, that I will be able to keep up with the pace that we need. And um, more importantly, that once I get there and I have a better sense of what the chief judge believes needs to be helpful, that I'll be able to help in those ways. You're a practicing attorney. You have been even while you were working in the legislature. Uh, has becoming a judge always been kind of a goal for you as, as an attorney even? Yes. As a matter of fact, it's a discussion that the governor and I had when he first got uh, elected. Um, but it was not something I was ready to do at that time. There were still some other legislative things I wanted to do. We were able to do many of those things, this legislative cycle, all the way uh, to the point of creating uh, re-entry centers that will be a huge help for people who are re-entering the community, hopefully so that they can be more productive and we can reduce the amount of re-entry we have into our prison system, which is extremely costly and part of why we have such high incarceration rates. Have you already identified or uh, endorsed anybody to take over your, your Senate seat yet? Well, um, I did uh, support, I do support Representative Myers, but as of four o'clock, I'm out of that. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm out of that. I, but um, I have enjoyed the work that she's done. I've done so many things together. Um, whether it is the um, Advocacy Day at the Capitol, the Black Advocacy Day at the Capitol, or Girls' Day at the Capitol, or the HBCU College Fair that we started. There's so many things that we've done uh, together and legislation that we've done together that's been amazing work. And so I believe that continuity um, will make for you know, um, a great transition. I gave to her, <laughs> you know, as State Senator Lena Taylor and this unemployed lady I've been for two days. <laughs> okay. um, but, you know, but in the end, I'm certain that many people will get in that race. Uh, the governor will not be able to um, pick a date more than likely until the court decides the maps okay. because pr the present maps are constitutionally challenged. Up next, the new poll. 